welcome back! I owe you a fitness update, I know, so here we go. Um, I will just start right into this. So, the last couple of months I did some workouts every week, just like to be active, but in the end I wasn't quite happy with that solution because this is the way I would continue after I have achieved my goal of that weight loss journey. So, uh, four weeks ago I decided to really, really focus on that specific goal. I decided to make this workout thing a habit and for that I decided to do my workouts at the gym every day. So, no matter which weather it is, I want to implement that way to the gym. So every time I go to the gym, I know, okay, now it's time for a workout. And this is happening every day, so it's getting a routine. And if I want to do some workouts outside of the gym, I can do them additionally, but I have to do a workout at the gym. Because it's not depending on the weather what I'm doing, there are no excuses, and it's like really a habit in my mind that I go to the gym every day. My workout varies every time, so most of the time I'm doing endurance workouts. I do uh, freeletics workouts, uh, sometimes just yoga if I want to have like a rest day but want, don't want to break the habit. So I'm doing just some yoga there or some stretching and um, working with the black roll or stuff like that. But I want to go there every day to make it as a routine. Yeah, so I'm doing this for four weeks right now and what might interest you is what are the results? Yes, um, there are no results. Yay! It's everything like at the beginning. Um, I haven't lost any weight, but that's quite normal. So I remember from my first transformation, it was quite the same. My body needed some time, like six to eight weeks where nothing changed, nothing. It was so disappointing, it was so demotivating. And uh, this is the point where most of the people probably quit because they think like, oh, it's not working and I'm not losing any weight and perhaps it's not the right thing, perhaps I'm not able to lose weight, perhaps, I don't know, my body isn't ready for it or stuff like that. And this is a big mistake that most of the people make at this point because I know it's disappointing but the body needs some time to change. The body needs some time to realize that okay there is another energy level and there is a different nutrition and the body needs time to really change the process of gaining energy out of what you're eating and feeding your muscles and stuff like that. The important thing is the body will need some time to change. And the second thing is in the first weeks you might also gain muscles and muscles weigh more than fat. So it might be that you're gaining weight or staying with the same weight level, but it's the same amount but more muscles and less fat. So this are two reasons why you probably not losing any weight in the first weeks. Um, also, again, this depends on your body. Some people react directly um, with a weight loss and others have to wait for weeks like I do. So I feel you. Um, it's really disappointing. It's a struggle every day when I wake up and I think like, it's not working. It's not working. But the thing that gets me through all this is that I know it takes some time because two years ago it was exactly the same thing. So be patient, stay committed and you will, you will achieve the goal you want to achieve. So please stay focused, stay committed, um, improve your mindset, believe in yourself. It will happen, it will work, but it will take some time. And um, this, is, this is really the hardest part. The next four weeks will be a struggle every day and um, it will be hard for me as well. I have to improve my willpower. I have to believe in myself even though I'm not seeing any changes. So even though nothing 
changed yet. There are some changes already. You're probably gaining more muscles, you're consuming more calories through that, you're getting fitter every day. And if you really think about your first workout you did and the way you do it right now, it looks way more sporty than at the first day, right? So if I remember my first run of four kilometers and what it looks like now, there is a huge difference. So I can give you a few tips to not getting crazy about all that stuff. The first thing is don't check your weight every day. Check it every two weeks if you really need to every week, but not every day. It will make you crazy if you check it every day and there are 300 grams more or less and if you drink a bottle of water then it's again a completely different story so please don't check your weight every day do it every two weeks if you want to check something rather check your measurements at a specific point of your body than to check your weight because your body will change at some points but as i said um, it might not change your weight immediately. Um, and one of my biggest, 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 biggest tips is do a nutrition diary. At the beginning, if you don't know what you're really eating and um, how your nutrition looks like at the beginning, you can't really check if it's cool right now or if you have to change something. I did a video about the most common apps you can use for tracking your daily things you're eating and uh, drinking and it will tell you exactly the amount of carbs, fat and protein. And if you see the last two weeks, most of the time your amount of fat is huge you're eating, then you should probably reduce that and check if your body um, reacts on that type of nutrition more. And if you see like, oh my gosh, um, it's most of the time um, I'm eating like 60% carbs, then you should probably reduce your carb load and increase your protein percentage. You can only realize if you're eating too much or too less if you're really tracking what you're eating every day. So please do a nutrition diary for at least two to four weeks until you get a feeling of which food is good for you, which not. If you're on the right track regarding nutrition or if you need to change something. And for that you need to make a nutrition diary. Please do it, it's worth it. And what also helps through this disappointing time until your body changes is vary your workout with different types of sports to make it more interesting, to make your lifestyle more active and to really have fun in being active. Do some yoga, do some stand-up paddling, go hiking, and go um, do some bike tours or I don't know, do stuff like that. Yeah. But what I want to tell you, I feel you. I'm exactly at this position right now. It's a struggle every day. I will try to do like a weekly update and keep you up to date regarding my workout routine and probably what I'm eating if you're interested in that. But let me know if you want to see something like that. And, and yeah, see you next time. Uh, enjoy your day and do your workout. I will now head to the gym and yeah do my daily thing. <laughs> okay, so I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if so. And please leave me a comment which video you would like to see and I will try my best to do whatever you want. And <laughs> yeah, so see you next time. Bye bye.